Battlefield 5's new medium bomber for the Allies, the Mosquito Mark VI, is finally available to unlock, and yes, the rumors are true, this thing does have a 4,000 pound bomb that you can unlock at the end of its tech tree. Despite this just being a medium bomber, that 4,000 pound bomb was a real thing. So let's get this Mosquito upgraded so we can try it out. On paper at least, this Mosquito variant is going to give the Allies a much more maneuverable anti-tank bomber option. However, when you first unlock it at rank 0, it does still come with a front machine gun, as well as a quick repair option which you can refill at a resupply station after you use it, and four 250 pound bombs. That's a pretty solid setup for a rank 0 bomber. Let's see what this thing's got. The round's only just begun, friend. Alright, not bad for some small bombs. Let's try and get this fighter. Oh yeah, he can definitely outturn us. Thankfully he's getting swarmed. Oh, does this object not get one? I need rockets. Alright, where is that flat gun? There you are. Die. That's a pretty solid first impression. Let's go ahead and unlock the six pounder front cannon, which is actually in addition to the machine gun as well as the bombs and see how that does. Okay, they're all signs of pushing in. breakthrough, I think. Someone's actually using a piat for his intended purpose, I see it. Oh yeah, the splash image is much better than the Stuka. You got that right. It's a mosquito swarm. Uh, one. Ooh, this thing is not meant for diving. It cannot pull a hard loop. The drop is a little bit trickier to calculate than the Stuka's front cannons, and because you only have the one, it's not quite as effective at anti-plane operations because the Stuka's dual cannons just make it so much easier to hit the wings of an enemy aircraft, but that thing packs a punch, and getting to have it as an additional weapon is definitely hard to argue with. Let's go ahead and go down this right side of the tech tree, unlock the increased fire rate, and see how that improves things in air-to-air -air combat. Here comes a 109. Oh yeah, that definitely helps. Ooh, got him with the cannon. <laughs> you know, honestly, the 20% is nice for distance shots, but I really feel like that cannon is going to be the uh, the finishing move most of the time. Try to stall out here. Oh, there he goes. It really does feel like the Mosquito is the best plane in the game at uh, pulling off those mid-air stops and just stalling out completely. I feel like even the heavier bombers can't stop that easily. And then if you can control it, you can kind of swoop out of it and take off again. Alright guys, that brings us to, at last, the 4,000 pound bomb. Let's try that thing out on some vehicles, and then we're going to check out the left side of the tech tree. Okay, I can't see much, so I'm just going to drop it on E for now. See what that does. Oop, we got flak. Uh, double kill, not bad. I have no idea what kind of splash damage this thing has. I'll go on back to reload here. I'm trying to look for any kind of uh, tracers or uh, tank battle or like that right there. All right, one hit, two hits, and the bomb. Ooh, okay, that hit us a bit on ourselves. And we get the flak too, but that definitely nuked the tank in one pass. I like that. Just 14 rounds left, though. They don't give you too much ammo for the cannon, so I think it's pretty balanced. I 
think that's the removable AA pushing up right there. I'm gonna dive bomb it. Whoa, uh, I have no idea what happened there. All right, so I went back in slow motion and I think I figured out what happened. So first I spot the mobile AA leaving the edge of D there. I figure if it's injured, a bomb will probably take it out. But I swapped my cannon just in case and I fire on it right as that 109 is right in front of me. So I think my bomb killed the mobile AA by itself and then my cannon shot which I fired right as the 109 was about to pass right over top of me. I think my cannon shot took out the 109. I don't know what the odds of that are, but uh, I like that. And this is what that thing looks like from the ground. Terrifying. It's like a small V1 goes off. All right, let's find some more tanks here. Another tiger. There goes the gunner. And yep, vehicle destroyed. Didn't damage myself that time at least. New match, and there's a Stuka already. I couldn't tell, did he have the cannons? I hope not, because if so, we are doomed. There goes a jeep. Double kill there. Yeah, let's just get back to base. This guy's all over us. It's a medium bomber. <laughs> One cannon shot and he's gone. So I think that's just 16 rounds total on the cannon, even after a resupply. Uh, there goes a 109 again. He can definitely outturn us, so I gotta be careful not to uh, get into a circling battle with him. Try a little bit of a loop here. Come on. Ah, over. Overshot his loop there. I might just have to run. Yep. I think that's some flak. Yep. They got a flak cannon too. We just lost Echo, so I'm going to go ahead and drop a bomb there so I can resupply. Ooh, nice. Got a triple. And there's our 109. I think the base AA is keeping him uh, pretty nervous, but ah, uh, couldn't quite get him with a cannon. Uh, I'm really nervous here that their AA is going to uh, see me. Ooh. I left the loop and I missed. And <laughs> now I stalled out. He's trying to double back on me. Try and cut the circle. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I thought I got him there. That was so close. <laughs> These vertical climbs are really rough. I'm going to keep stalling out. Okay. He's going to chase the second mosquito. I think he might think that was me. As long as that guy keeps wiggling, should be able to get him here. Ah, oh, man, just over the wings again. Just finish him with a cannon. And of course, uh, now the AA sees me. Uh, got a medium bomber. A little low, but then there we go. All right, I think I'm starting to get a feel for this. And they've got a tiger leaving base. Shooting over at Beta. Go ahead and hit him with, yep, cannon shot and bomb does the trick. That one-two punch is really nice. And you still have those cannon rounds left. Yeah, this thing is definitely fun if you can just keep the Stukas off of you. Got another fighter. I should have swapped to my cannon. He slowed down so much there. All these near misses are killing me. 
Please don't see me. Hey, hey, please don't see me. Oh, man. How much did he rep up there on that one last turn? Did like 180 plus damage. See some guys in the alleyway at Echo there. Nice. Got a couple. Got a runner over here at Delta. Ooh, right at his feet. I think I saw a tank on Alpha. <laughs> yep, there he goes. Uh, here we go. I see a Stuka with the cannons. So it's starting. See if I can take him out quick. There we go. Was there a second though? Oh, there is. Yep. That's basically your arch nemesis in the mosquito is the Stuka with cannons. In fact, let's take a second and talk about a couple of the mosquito's main weaknesses. The obvious one is it has no option to rear gun. You can't seat switch. You can't have a squad mate along with you to help uh, keep the fighters off of you. But the good news is you do have bomber levels of health, so if it's a fighter behind you, like right here I'm chasing one of these new mosquitoes, I've got to put so many rounds into this thing thanks to his quick repair. If you save that quick repair until your damage is pretty low, you'll get a good chunk of your health back at least once. I think he's trying to resupply his quick repair a couple of times, but I'm going to finish him off here. But even without a rear gun, a fighter is going to take a long time to finish you off, so you've got time to uh, call for backup or try to get your AA's attention and uh, possibly get that fighter off of you. Your real arch nemesis, like I said earlier, is going to be the Stuka B2 with those dual cannons. Because I was dying so often to those things uh, while flying the Mosquito, I would say easily 70% of my deaths uh, in the Mosquitoes were from the Stukas with the cannons. I decided to give it a go myself, and it was hilariously easy just to massacre these mosquitoes because everyone is spawning in nothing but mosquitoes wanting to try them out, so they have no fire support to take you down if you're flying these stukas. It's basically easy mode. You just get free kills all match. I'll talk more at the end of the video about the best way to counter those stukas if you're trying to fly your mosquito, but for now, let's try out that left hand tech tree for the mosquito with both the rocket pods and the 500 pound bombs. See, so yeah, a Panzer IV. I'm gonna hit him with the bombs first. Not quite enough, so let's go back around and use the rockets. That might finish him. Let's see. Oh, yeah, good hits. Vehicle destroyed. Got the kill. And there's a flat, of course. The downside is that you don't have those cannons to. Uh, occupy your time while you reload those bombs. The missiles do come back pretty fast. I think 10 or 12 seconds, but gotta wait a good while for those 500 pound bombs. And yet yeah, we got a Stuka with the cannons coming in for the other mosquito that's flying. I'm gonna try to get behind him. I don't think he saw me at first. That might save me. Uh, you see, I wish I had the cannons because these dumbfire rockets are just useless air to air. I gotta break hard here because if he gets behind me, there's just nothing I can do. He's gonna kill me in one or two, maybe three hits. That rear cannon is nasty enough. Okay. I think. Yeah, the second mosquito got him finally. Those things are. Nasty to fight though. All we've got is a mosquito. And now we got a fighter on us too. I'm really less worried about those things. Sure, he can outturn you, but he just can't put out the damage like those Stuka B2s can. Yeah, he's uh he's fighting it here. Here he is. Okay, let's try and find some more ground targets for those dumb rockets. I'm gonna chase their medium bomber here for a minute. Try to 
Finish him off. Yeah, he's gonna bail. Okay, what do we got? Looks like B just got capped. No surprise there, outside their spawn. Ooh, I see a jeep. Come on. Ah, just one. Yeah, the dumbfire rockets and the smaller bombs are uh, precision weapons, but I miss that uh, 4,000 pound bomb just because you gotta pay so close attention to your surroundings uh, when you're flying this thing. You can be destroyed so quickly that I don't really have time to uh, look for ground targets too carefully. I've gotta just kinda hit targets and run. What's that flat gun doing out here? Ooh, that is one of the advantages to the Dumbfire Rockets, though. They got more medium bombers up. I almost don't want to kill these, because that's just one more stuka they can't spawn. But I also don't want them just massacring our ground forces, so... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and take them out. Come on. There we go. Ooh, hello, Tiger. Hit him with both again. Try and save all those guys coming out of Alpha. Another bomber. We got some friendly flak too, at least. Ooh, and yep, they have spawned a mobile AA. And I just heard a Stuka pass me. Oh, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. He saw me. He definitely saw me. Yep. There's just nothing you can do. A couple hits and you are done for. So guys, that is the new Mosquito. It is a lot of fun, but right now, those German fighters and Stukas are loving the Bomber Harvest just because everyone is spawning them. So, to end the video here, I'm going to talk just a bit about what you guys can do to deal with those Stukas and German fighters. And the answer is, you really can't do anything. You are completely dependent on your team's fighter support uh, to keep them off of you. So, what you're seeing here is, I hopped into a server, a little cheeky bomb run right there, as he was landing. I hopped onto this server and realized that my entire team was spawning mosquitoes nonstop, and they were getting absolutely wiped out. So I waited for a option to spawn in in a Spitfire, and I'm trying just to keep these fighters and stukas off of the mosquitoes so that people can rank them up. I mean, I'm guilty of that too. I want to try the new stuff, but uh, the Allies really need to keep a uh, close attention on what the Germans are spawning in the air. See there, I got ambushed by a fighter and a Stuka because I wasn't paying attention. The fighter support is going to be key in keeping your new bombers alive. So, in between unlocking new stuff for your new toys as you're trying out that Mosquito, Make sure you guys, if you're flying around, spawn in the fighter occasionally and help your team out. So for now, I'm going to try to fly as a wingman for these mosquitoes. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Alright, that's one fighter down. I really can't believe I survived that initial ambush. I see the Stuka too, over G. Yep, he sees that mosquito, he's going for it. He sees that easy kill. And he's gonna land again. Just pop off the bombs. Yes! Alright, I'm getting the hang of those. I am very okay with that. The air war right now with everyone trying to fly these bombers is just frantic. 
you've got to constantly watch for uh, the Stukas and the fighters coming in. They're just everywhere. Not used to that. Uh, the Germans usually spawn a bunch of bombers to get easy ground kills. Yep. And there's the flak. And a fighter behind me. That might be it. <laughs> I gotta run. Come on, tree hitboxes, be kind. Yes! Come on. And he blew right past me. <laughs> it's like he gave up. And there he goes. Whew. Yeah, it is nuts up here.